Okay, today we are talking about uh, again uh, subcontracting process in with respect to EWM. So how material is sending to the subcontractor and then how we are going to receive it. So we need to have at least one material as a component and one material as a finished goods. And we have two scenarios and so uh, two scenarios I'm going to talk about. Scenario number one is without any valuation class. The second scenario I will be showing into in a different uh, video. And then first scenario, uh, I have a stock of the component in my warehouse in MMBE and EWM also. Let me show you that. And the, this stock I'm sending to the vendor and then vendor going, vendor uh, it shows in the vendor stock, METO if you go, I mean, if MMBE, if you see that stock provided to vendor, it shows some stock. And then it is going to, uh, pay, I mean, I'm going to receive a final product, that final product, how we are going to receive it. All this process, I'm going to help you to understand. First of all, slash and VL31N. And then if I go to this, go to the purchase order. And then 70A1. And then I'll show you the this purchase order also. So subcontract process. This is my purchase order. When I click the purchase order, if you see, this is item category L. I'm, this is my vendor who is doing the subcontracting process. And then components are given in the material data and here. So if I am getting 100 quantity, I am giving 100 quantity of this item 83. 1183, I am giving 100 quantity. 1182, I am getting 100 quantity back. So he is doing some activities and then he is sending the material as a new material. Uh, as a new material. So that's why he is doing this. So when you go to 1183, 1183, we will have the stock in MMBE. That means we already provided the material to the subcontractor. I'll show you that how it is going to show it. So stock provided to vendor, there are four pieces. As the purchase order is already available, I can take four quantity without having any restriction because I have given four and then vendor is going to supply four back to me. Okay, so in that case, so I'll go back to the purchase order. And then in this purchase order, I'm going to receive. This is I'm going to receive four pieces. So exactly the quantity at the vendor, okay? So if you go back and then see stock placement tab, you will see. I'm going to receive this material in ROD, four pieces. Four to four nine is created. And I'll go back to my EWM. So this is my warehouse number 70A1 and then this is my delivery number. And then if I say goods received. And then go back and then see my delivery here. So go to here goods receipt is posted the jimmy core here is this is my main item this is my subcontract component four quantity received and four quantity consumed automatically with 543 moment 101 and 543 moment okay so you can see the purchase order data here 387 because i'm in the first line item and then I'll see the purchase order. Okay. Second line item, there is no link to the purchase order according to the standard SAP. 
So I received and then I'll do the put away also. So I don't have any automated process for this. That's why it is going to give an error message for the put away task. So go to default values. I will do something called APPL location and then trying to create it and then save it and then confirm it. So before confirming it, I would like to show you my stock situation in MMBE here. As you know that metal provided to vendor is consumed, okay? And uh, previously available for sale is seven. Sorry, available for sale is 40 only. And then I think 37, I think, right? Let me show you that little moments. Yeah, 36, I think. With, uh, this is issued amount. First, we will receive in ROD. Oh, sorry. We are checking wrong item. 1183 consumed. 1182, you are going to receive it. Sorry. That's the mistake I am doing. Okay, 7. 7 means earlier... This is 411 moment. ROD, there is a four pieces over here. 101 moment, today's date, there are four pieces. Of course, when you confirm it, confirm the warehouse task here, and then it is going to be posted into AFS. Or 7 has become 11. Okay, with 411 moment, today's date, it is transferred from ROD to AFS1. So for this, the configuration, what I have done is majorly like, first I created a vendor as a master data. And then this master data, if you go ahead and then see, vendor for subcontracting. And then um, if you go here, customer in the customer general data this is the customer and the vendor is 100387 that means i have extended flvn00 flvn01 and flcu01 so that i created as a vendor the same vendor as a customer and then assigned it over here other than this one more configuration I have done. This is common to second scenario as well as first scenario here. So if you go ahead and then see the handling unit and then basics and then delivery and then delivery type determination for my subcontracting is outbound delivery. LB, HOD I have maintained over here. Okay, so by keeping this in mind, I would like to show you again how to give the material to the vendor. So go to METO transaction and then go ahead, give the this one and then 1183, my component and execute. You will see the same purchase order number what you are seeing, select it. And then you wanted to create a delivery and then location AFS1. You want to pick up from location AFS1. And my quantity is maybe 9, 9 or 10. Okay. Already 18 and it is showing that I'll make it as a 9 so that. And then delivery created. Remember this delivery 1401 will be distributed to EWM. And then go to EWM and then see. 
स्लैश एम स्लैश एस सी डब्ल्यू स्लैश पी आर डी वो एंड देन इफ यू सी लॉजिस्टिक्स एक्सिक्यूशन डिलीवरी एंड देन चेक द डिलीवरी नंबर किया फॉलो ऑन फंक्शन एंड क्रिएट वेर ऑफ टास्क फॉर पिकिंग एंड देन इट इज टेकिंग फ्रॉम हियर and then if you go back she she so the goal she she is completed in ewm and then if you go ahead and then see back again i think 1183 is my scenario and then in this to this i have provided nine quantity now okay the quantity nine is available with the vendor so i can take one more goods receipt i mean i can receive one more goods receipt for nine pieces so this is how we did that this material is unrestricted item and then it is done the subcontracting process so let's talk about some other things